Hillsborough County leaves one man dead. New tonight, the search is on for the other driver as the family wants everyone to know the man they knew and loved. Paul Mueller joins us now live from the scene in Ruskin. And I'm wondering, Paul, do deputies have any leads right now? They do, as the family says, they know who the suspect is, and they tell us that they've already impounded his truck. Go ahead and take a live look here at the scene right now. They are just wrapping up, and keep in mind, this is eight hours later, still trying to piece together what led up to this tragedy. Uh, I've done, I don't, I think I ran out of tears, honestly. A grieving sister puts up a strong front, remembering her brother, 21-year-old Zachary Zach Marcano of Ruskin, one of 10 children killed as he flew off his motorcycle in this apparent case of road rage. Yeah, he was. He was really lovable. He cared for anyone he came in contact with, tried to do the most for anyone, tried to help them out as much as he could. But in the end, Marcano couldn't save himself. Investigators say it all began at around 3.15 in this parking lot right here, about a mile from the crash scene. The two, they say, just happened to bump into each other. Words were exchanged. Then they took off down the road. Ten minutes later, one of them would be dead. 19th Street Northeast shut down for hours as investigators canvassed the crime scene. A flood of evidence markers dotted the road. Family members consoled one another at the crime scene, at one point walking to the intersection where Zach lost his life. But what caused this? His family says he was sticking up for one of his friends in a domestic-related incident. He's not a troublemaker by far, but he sticks up for what he believes in. And that may have cut his life short, leaving his family torn apart. So I'm broken inside, but uh, he'd want me to be strong. And again, investigators certainly do have a lot of work on their hands. If you look behind me, it's just a minute and 15 seconds later, and they have cleared the scene. Again, they were out here for eight hours. The search intensifies for the suspect in this case. Jen. Paul Mueller, live for us in Ruskin.